I don't knock it though. Do y'all think? Fuck you. Yeah, I ain't gonna give y'all no information to run. You know, hello. Do y'all think though? You know, I was watching documentaries. You know, these documentaries tend to like tell stories about the neighborhood, and then it always pinpoint a person who the neighborhood don't like. Now, this is the question I'm finna ask you. You know, and I'm gonna ask you this without being policey, yeah. but this is the question I'm gonna ask you. Okay? You know, these documentaries tend to point out this guy as an arch nemesis by the name of Mad Max. What's the question though? Um. Do the internet overstate these things? Do they over dramatize these things? These just be neighborhood issues that the internet. See, I'll be watching some of that shit, um, the uh, stories and shit like that, but I don't be watching all of them, so I can't really tell you what to say. But um, I ain't gonna take the shit away from a nigga, and I ain't gonna give a nigga more than what he got coming. Right. Um, shorty, um, shorty earned his name at a point, but like his um, his ending kind of like diminished that. So this is my personal opinion. If you glorify a rat, you a rat, or you willing to tell. You see what I'm saying? So, um, people that know, they know, folks. So, it's, at the end, of, he told the man, got this innocent man locked up, man. Free real, real, man. He got this innocent man locked up for no reason, man. And, and that kind of like, the, it don't matter what you did before. At that point, all that shit, um, like, it deleted. It's like hitting the backspace, but same way with the um, with the Rico situation, paid it for. It don't matter what he did up to that point. Once he started telling all that shit, it's diminished. You feel like all that shit deleted. You in the backspace and all that shit. It ain't taking away that you did it, but um, me personally, I don't know fuck who you is. If you from my side and you do some shit like that, all that shit deleted, folks. You feel me? So yeah, we ain't glorifying no rest, folks. Um, he he earned his cookies, but I can't give you that because you know, nigga, just his ending was fucked up though. But he, he, you know, when you say real, real, is that a guy that they call Lakeside Hell real? Yeah. Uh. And I had a conversation with him before. Yeah, I think I've seen him on, on, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know, when you said his name, did you know this guy named Pasta? Um, yeah, but kind of like, I kind of like was just starting to um, tap into him. I got locked up when he got killed. I mm-hmm. actually was on deck with one of their homies um, when, he got, when he got killed and he told me to put on. How do these guys get on the internet? How do the world know about these guys? You know, a lot of these guys don't even got rap songs. How do the world know about them? Um, is that song, weird? Though, you know that shit. Oh. It's like I can't keep saying it's police because a lot of that shit was like when they was doing the smack videos and all that extra shit. That's then like the same thing they doing now. So that shit kind of still even then to me police is still. You feel me? But um, mm-hmm. I guess niggas want to get their story out. You feel me to a certain extent. And it's kind of like them to like this interview. You feel me? So it's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like right. the street go talk. Bro, you feel me? So certain shit just go slip out. Or certain shit go get told. And you know, folk, um, you another one of them letters. So you feel me? So. R.I.P. Pasta, though. Are what you saying, so Now, I want to ask you a few questions on the coach. I ain't going to hold you too long. We have a few more questions. We're going to get to your music. But I got some questions about the, t- the culture. And I think the best opinions in the culture is people who in the culture. You know? I want to ask your opinion on three topics that's trending right now. Is it okay or is it not okay to put a crime on somebody if they passed away? Because that's kind of like what's going on right now. A rapper by the name of T.I. admitted that he put a crime on his dead cousin in order to get out of jail, you know? Um, is that okay or is that not okay? I feel like this. This is my personal opinion. I feel like he should never even say it that. You know? uh, um, he should never told people. But, like, folk, um, it's like a double-edged sword because it kind of can be looked like yeah, you telling. But she, he did, you feel me? Uh-huh. So, I don't know about other people... Um, Side of town, you feel me? But certain conversations come up, you feel me, amongst us, you feel me? So, um, a nigga might be like, yeah, if this, that ever happened like this, then yay, you feel me? Right. So then it's different, you feel me? But you put it into the real, that shit, you know? But um, it's just a double-edged sword, though, folks, you feel me? If y'all hear that conversation, and he like, man, folks, this ever happened to me, folks, then yay, you feel me? Right. Then I guess it's cool, you feel me? Um, <laughs> it's crazy, man, look, free bro them, though, but, um... <laughs> Free bro, them, but yeah, it's just a double edged sword. I can't tell them a fucker. Tell them it's talent, but they ain't really so much. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really want to comment on that because I don't want to give them fucking okay. bright ideas. Right. Thing, but you know, bro, I want to know from you: Is telling telling if the person passed away? His question was: uh, uh, If if somebody passed, is it okay to say that they did yeah, blah they blah they? I ain't gonna let that shit hear him out because folks up there right now, like. I ain't even wanna speak on that because folks (laughs) wanna hear the shit like that. Folks look down and fucking like, what? (laughs) I ain't. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I done had niggas though, um, a motherfucker was put in that position and, and the person was told, I mean, if this is that, that, then do this. And he still, still still strong. So that's why I'm like, I can't really say it because if he's standing strong and he innocent, you feel him? So like, that's different. You feel him? So he like, no, nah, that's telling. So if for him, this is freedom on the line. You feel him? So, and he's still like, that's telling. Mm -hmm. Then that's telling. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, I can't tell you now. You feel him? Because it seemed like something right to do. Even though the person told him, like, man, if this ever happened to me, yay. You feel me? So, and he's still like, no, nah, I'm still standing strong. You see what I'm saying? So, but yeah, you do that shit and you go to fish, your ass, they go, they probably go, um, have a different opinion about that. They go look at that shit as telling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you can just, you know, make it make sense. But they definitely go look at it like it's telling. I get you on that. Uh, second one I want to ask you. We actually downtown right now. This is actually a couple of blocks from where FBG Duck was killed at. Um, today is actually his birthday. Um, I want to ask you this question, and I think this is a powerful question. 